Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find out the minimum element in an array. So let's see. See, this is the array and we want to find out the minimum value in this array. This array contains all integer values. Okay, so the logic is very simple. You have to trace the array by using variable i. Means you have to visit every element in this array. And the ith element is the current element. Okay, so see, first you have to declare the minimum element as the first element in the array. So minimum will become 5 in this case. Okay, so the minimum element is the first element in the array. And after we declare the minimum element to the first element of the array, you have to update the minimum variable. Okay, now let's go and see the function here, how it is done. So the function name is minimum and we are passing two variables that is the array and the size of the array. In this case, the size of the array is 7. Now, i is the variable declared to trace this array and the minimum variable is declared and as you know, the first value in the array that is the 0th index of the array, that element is assigned to the minimum variable. Now, let's start the for loop from the first index to the last index that is n. Now, see for i equal to 1 means i will be 1 now. So, if array of i is less than minimum means you have to check whether the current element is less than the minimum variable. Okay, this variable minimum is holding the value 5 now. So, you have to check whether the current element 3 is less than 5. See, here 3 is less than 5. Yes, it is. So, this if condition is true and we go inside this if condition. Okay, and that current element becomes the new minimum inside the if condition. So, see here, this is the rule. If current is less than minimum, then that current element becomes the minimum. Okay, means that value of the current element is assigned to the minimum variable. So, see, because 3 is less than 5, now 3 will be assigned to the minimum variable. Okay, so this variable is updated and now minimum is 3, right? And we go to the next iteration of for loop. Now, i++ plus plus means i will become 2 now. So, see whether 8 here, if array of i that is 8 is less than minimum, now minimum is 3, okay? So, whether 8 is less than 3, no, it is not. So, we don't go inside this if condition. We just directly go to the next iteration. So, i++ plus plus means we go to the next element. Now, check 2. So, whether 2 that is array of i is less than 3 that is the minimum. Yes, 2 is less than 3. So, 2 will be assigned to the minimum variable now. Means the current element 2 will become the minimum element. So, this variable is updated to 2 and we go to the next iteration. So, i is incremented. Check whether 1 is less than 2. See whether 1 here is less than the minimum variable. Minimum variable value is 2 now. So, whether 1 is less than 2? Yes, it is. So, 1 is assigned to the minimum variable. So, minimum becomes 1 and we go to the next iteration of for loop. So, i is incremented. So, check whether 9 is less than 1? No, it is not. So, we directly increment i. Check whether 4 is less than 1? No, it is not. So, we directly increment i. Now, i becomes 7. Okay. Now, see, i is less than n. So, currently, i is 7 and n is 7. And 7 is not less than 7. So, this 
condition fails and we come out of this for loop okay and after we come out of this for loop we return the minimum value this minimum variable value so one is the minimum element in this array so this is how we find out the minimum in o of n time complexity in the worst case hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you